Hey everybody, Eric Taylor back, Trail Hunter USA. Um, today I want to do a review of a product I've been using uh, called Bone Dry. They make several products that keep uh, your, if you have guns or uh, you, you camera equipment, phones, uh, stuff like that, they make these bags that you can put your items in that will dry, it sucks the moisture out of everything and, and it makes it, makes your, prevents rust, it gets all the components inside and out dry, it keeps it dry. And um, if you're an influencer like I am, uh, like me and Brent are with Trail Hunter USA and you're carrying your cameras around, it's, it gets wet, it's raining, or it's misty outside, or whatever it is, your cameras get wet, you can put those in a bag and they will dry out really quickly. I mean, they say within like four hours they'll be dry. It says anywhere from four to 24 hours. And it's a technology called Absorbits that he came out with. And if, forgive my rooster, anytime I do a video, I've got a rooster, but he's got a patented process and the absorbents uh, draw the moisture out. And I'll talk about it a little more here. All right, everybody, I just want to show you a little diagram here showing how the bone dry system works. Basically, you got these desiccant packets or silica gel that's uh, wrapped up in this uh, moisture wicking nylon material. Uh, it's called absorbents, and it's, it's a, a patented, patented system they have. And basically, these packets or gel is a sandwich between this uh, material, nylon wicking material. And, and they say uh, within four to 24 hours, it will dry whatever it is that you put in these bags. And, you know, it acts like a commercial dehumidifier, basically. Uh, but it doesn't need electricity for it, obviously. It's just that it just sucks the dampness out of everything. Uh, it's a really cool system they have, and I've tried it, and it works. Yeah. It's not like any of those other desiccant, pa desiccant packages that you, you know, you see at the stores and stuff. Uh, they have to be replaced. They only last so long. These absorbents, they last forever, and it's guaranteed forever. So there's no worry about this ever not working. So if you have guns, you put in the packages uh, in the like the tool bag, the tools, or gun cases, or iPhone. Uh, protectors, uh, whatever it might be, you don't have to worry about it. Uh, they're always, uh, this is always going to work. Okay, now I want I want to show you some of the products that they have, and then I will show you the ones that I've got gotten. Uh, they have the uh, rust prevention dual rifle case, uh, rust prevention gun and ammo bag, uh, rust prevention range and tool bag, and the rust prevention shotgun sleeve. Uh, they have the wet electronics rescue pouch, uh, a large one and a small one. Uh, the large one will fit a tablet and the small one a phone. All right, here's one of the products I got was a the gun case. I have a shotgun and I keep this in the case uh, to keep it dry. But you can see this is a high quality material here. It's really, it's, it's the best looking gun case. Let me put it this way that I've ever had. It seals, they seal it up really well. I can't really show you the pockets in here, I don't think. But this is a gun I'm real proud of. It's a Remington 870. Wingmaster. It's probably 45 years old. It's a 20 gauge. My dad gave it to me when I was real little and I've kept it in really good condition if you can tell. I mean it's got scratches on it but I've kept the inside real clean and when when you do that when you're out hunting you get into 
uh, if you know anything about it, you get into wet situations and then when I get home, I have to tear this down, take it completely apart and clean everything out because all that moisture gets inside there. The number one problem with, with guns, if you know anything, is that uh, they rust. And if you get water in them and they start rusting, you could lose your entire gun. So this one's been kept really well. I've kept up with it, so I'm proud of it. So I'm glad to have this bag. You can see inside here, it's got that moisture wicking nylon and inside here's those de desiccant packages or silica. And it's constructed really well. There's uh, no uh, zippers on it. So there's no chance for damaging your gun. It's got this strap on it for carrying it strap here for carrying your gun it's got a uh, it's got a pack to put your ammo in if you want now this will go up to a 60 inch uh rifle or shotgun so pretty amazing it'll fit just about any gun and again this is lifetime warranty on this thing if anything happens uh you you can get it replaced and you can always uh count on when you pull your gun out of this it will be dry okay this is the absorbance gun ammo bag now this can be used for multiple things uh, it's the same kind of design so there's no need to go over that again but it can be used to put your cameras in here uh, as well and to keep them dry and if they get moisture in them it'll pull the moisture out of them as well and that way you know you don't have to worry like if you put them in a regular bag or something and you're out in high humidity like here in the south you don't have to worry about that humidity and moisture getting inside the cameras if you keep them in these bags so that's another killer thing about this bag now this can be used as a tool bag too um if you have a lot of tools and carry a lot of tools, you know, if they get wet or moist, they'll rust real easy as well. Uh, one other thing is, is, the, is the, uh, these are the only bags that eliminate moisture, humidity, dew, water droplets, and condensation from all your, you know, your tools or whatever you have. So I'm considering using this as a uh, camera bag. I may use it. You know, if, you, if it's, you're using it for guns and ammo, you know, the equipment you, you carry out, your ear, uh, your ear uh, plugs and your ammo and stuff. So you can put all that in there. Now, let's see, the bag's 10.5 inches by 8.75 inches. Weighs about 13 ounces. And again, there's a lifetime guaranteed on it and it's got the patented absorbents in it. So. There's no worries with that. I got that. I also got the, which is, is really cool here. This is the tablet bag, or you can put your phone. They make a smaller one, and I'll go over those products later if you haven't already seen them. I don't know when I'm gonna do that, but this is the tablet bag. It's the large uh, uh, bag. Uh, you know how when you're out in the field and uh, filming, and your camera you could put a gopro in here or you could put a camera in here even uh, without a lens on it obviously but instructions got instructions here in case you forget just turn off tablet immediately remove tablet case take the battery out if you can wipe down all you don't have to uh, wipe down the the uh phone or tablet and then stick it in here close it up and, and about check it in about six hours and it should be dried out if not up to 24 hours so uh, this thing is 10.5 inches by 8.75 inches weighs about 11 ounces it's padded so you can stick your uh if you just want to keep them dry it says um it doesn't have any electric charge in it so you don't have to worry about that on your phones. Um, and that's about it, lifetime warranty. So that's it for that. Another thing is uh, this one here I have. Uh, if you, uh, this is just a, it looks very similar to the tablet bag, but it's for, uh, to put guns and ammo in. 
it's just a little small pouch um you know if you got if you use handguns uh out in the weather if you're out at the range they could get wet and all or you could use this in your uh if you want to carry one in your vehicle you could use this and not worry about it the humidity and the condensation that gets in the vehicles overnight and stuff and during the day and you could just leave a handgun in your vehicle if you wanted to so that's pretty cool well, those are the four things i got now i am going to do a little test for you all i'm going to get my prize gun that i told you all about and i am going to spray it down and then put it in this bag and we're going to see what happens Okay, you just saw what I did. I sprayed down my gun. That's my baby. Uh, so I really trust in this material. I've actually seen it work on a uh, phone that I dropped uh, in a mud pit. I picked out, wiped off, and put in one of the phone drying bags, and it dried it out real well. So I'm pretty confident this is going to work, but still. All right, let me uh, put this in the bag. And I'm, I'm not even gonna tamp dry this down. I'm gonna shake it off. I mean, I'm not even gonna wipe the excess water off of this. I'm just going to kinda, I'm just gonna kinda shake it off a little bit. But you see, it's wet. You see, I've been taking care of it. It's beat it up on here where I've had the oil on it. But we're going to see how long it takes for this to dry out. And I'm just going to drop it in the bag. And how you seal this up is you turn this back, pull this down like this, and then this strap goes around the outside. And this strap goes in here and it folds over. Now it's in here and all we're going to do is see how long it takes. Let me see what time it is. I didn't bring a watch with me. Hang on. I didn't bring a watch. I always have my phone. It's 12.30 p.m. So four hours will be 4.30. So I'll set my timer. Okay. All right, it is 4.30. Let's see what four hours did. I do not see a drop of water on this. Looks like there's a little bit inside. I can see right on. I don't know if you can see that, but there's a little bit right there. So we will leave it in there another couple hours. But pretty much dry except for that little spot there. All right, check you guys in a couple hours. Okay, it's been another two hours, so we're going to check the gun, see if it's completely dried out. All right, so we're gonna check now to see the inside. We had the outside, remember, on the four hours, it did every, it got every piece of liquid off of, uh, piece of liquid, every bit of liquid off the uh, outside of the gun, but we still have some little droplets in here on the inside. 
And I don't see those droplets anymore. It looks pretty dry on the inside. So, yep, I don't see anything. So, dried it out in six hours after spraying it with water. Um, of course, you know, when you go hunting again, there's different conditions. The gun gets wet. So, I'm very pleased with this bone dry and like I said, I've used it before with a with a phone that I dropped in a mud hole, so I knew it was going to work. But if you decide you want to get some bone dry products, I've got a link in the description. I ask you please use our link. Uh, every little bit of helps that it it will be an affiliate link, so We'll get a little bit of extra cash with it and it'll help us out on the channel. We're trying to build a channel to do things like this, bring things to everybody and let you guys see what works, what doesn't work. And you can read everything about what we're about in our description and uh, our mission statement and everything is in there. So please do, please like, please subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. and. And we'll be seeing you guys out on the trails.